Hello, in this video you will learn about the path in the command prompt application of Windows. You'll also learn how to navigate in the command prompt application using a command cd and cd dot dot and you will learn how to list files and folders in a folder in the command prompt application using the dir command. This is how you run a command prompt application on Windows 10. You go to the search bar at the bottom, you type CMD, which stands for command, and the best matched application will be listed at the top of the window. Click on that to launch the command prompt application. This is the relationship between the path in the command prompt window and the folders in the Windows Explorer. To go to the same directory as in the command prompt, which is c colon backslash users backslash all caps user in the Windows Explorer, you just simply need to follow the path, which is c subfolder users subfolder sub all caps user. You double click on the Windows in the Windows Explorer window on C, navigate to that folder that you see the same as the one in the command prompt, which is users, and find that all caps user folder, click on that, and now you are in the same folder as the one in the command prompt. Now to view the items inside this current working directory, we just need to use the command call DIR, which stands for directory. You will see the same items listed here as the items in the Windows Explorer window, except for a few hidden items that you don't normally see in the Windows Explorer version. Also, note that you can hint the path from the Windows Explorer version by looking at this part that shows that in the current directory that we are in is within the C drive and the users and user subfolder. You can get some information on what is inside the folder in the command prompt by looking at the details here. This shows the timestamp of the items and the type of items they are. For example, this context item is a directory, while this is a link file of 289 bytes. You can also see the total number of directories and the total number of files. They are in the current working directory. To navigate into a folder in the command prompt, just like how you would navigate into a folder in the Windows Explorer version, you just need to use the command call change directory or cd. Let's say we want to go inside the downloads folder. For the Windows Explorer version, you just need to double click on the downloads folder and you will go into that folder. In the command prompt version, you need to use a command called cd and type out the name of the folder. But be careful with the spelling and the capital letters because the format is required to be case sensitive. So to go into the downloads folder, I need to type this exactly. Uh, I left out an S here. And after making sure that it is correctly typed, I just press enter and I will be inside the downloads folder. Notice that the path change to include the downloads folder in it. Now to view the file the files or the items inside the folder, I just need to type the same command that we learned just now, which is dir. And you will see the 
items inside. Here in the Windows Explorer, you see that the folder is empty, but you see something inside the command prompt window, uh, but these items are hidden. And you can also see that there are zero files with two hidden directories inside this downloads folder. Now to navigate out of the downloads folder, in the Windows Explorer version, you can just click on the back button or you can also click here. Let's say I want to use the back button and I'll go back to the previous folder. But here, if I like to go to the user folder, I just need to type CD again, space with two dots together, press enter and I'll be in the, the user folder. Now you know what a path is and its relationship with the folder structure in the Windows Explorer. You also learn how to list the number of items inside a folder in the command prompt using the command BIR. And lastly, you learn how to navigate in the command prompt using the change directory commands cd to go into a folder and cd dot dot to go out of that folder.